great Wednesday evening, January 27th, 2021. To God be the glory for his faithfulness and his mercy to see the closing of another beautiful day. And we're near the closing of the first month of this year. God is so faithful. We are in the, what is it, the eighth chapter, seventh, eighth? Eighth chapter of Leviticus. And something happened to me strange this evening in the last half an hour. And it has something to do with um, a verse in Leviticus. So I discovered something recently. And it was kind of surprising. And I wanted to revisit it. And I wanted to uh, open the contents and review something and the Lord was like no no because I want you to to focus on me what I can do and I don't want you to get discouraged by what you see or what you read or what your senses pick up so in a way it was the weirdest thing so I had the actual item I'll say like maybe an envelope what have you, right there, and it disappeared. I was cleaning the drawer, and I was like, did it go behind in a secret place? I moved all the clothes, and it just disappeared. And I just believe the Lord was like, Michelle, do not, do not revisit that. Watch what I can do. So what I'm saying is, he closed that door, and he didn't want me to reopen it. And in Leviticus 8, Verse 33, it says, and ye shall not go out. There are some things that the Lord is going to just put barriers and say, do not enter. Do not go. Do not open this. Again, I've closed that. I've put my, my gate to my fence and everything. Now, if you want to be hard head and just go through it, that's on you. But we sometimes wonder, Lord, why, why did you close this door? Why? What is this about? It's for our protection. And he has a plan. And we might not be privy to it, but we have to trust him in the meantime. So when I read that, I was like, wow. Because it says that ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. That was for seven days. And it says that until the days of your consecration be at an end, for seven days shall he consecrate you. Therefore shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night seven days. The Lord shuts us in places for his glory and for our good. We might not see it. And when he says, yes, go, he gives us the green light. Then we have joy. And I reached out to a high school mate recently. And I was like, do you have the words to the song that our old music teacher taught us? And it's based on Isaiah 55, 12. And it says, and ye shall go out with joy, be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing and all the trees shall clap their hands. See, don't you see that verse 12, it says, for ye shall go out, right? But then in Leviticus 8.33, it says, and ye shall not go out. It's the opposite. And the Lord gives us the red lights and the green lights because that's his plan. We don't, might not understand, but that, that blew my mind what happened tonight. I'm like, where did it go? Hey. You have anything to say about that? Has the Lord ever done that to you? We're just like, whoa. Yeah, he'll do that. And uh, in the meantime, it's a head scratcher. And, and I, I went back three times. And then I was like, okay, Lord, I, I see what you're doing. It's not your will. Okay. And because today is the 27th of January, we would have gone to Proverbs 27. And I'm going to pass it to Timotheus. Did anything speak to you? Yeah, one. One. I know that's boast not thyself about tomorrow. And it goes on to say... Because thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Yeah, um, shouldn't go to bed with the expectation that you're going to wake up tomorrow. Because um, anything can happen uh, throughout the night. Uh, that's the 
it's not a reason to like stay up all night like in fear, but it's just important to remember that anything can happen and that you shouldn't go to bed or upset anyone, especially your loved ones. Or just go to bed with a uh, you know, with hatred or anything. Hey Amen, because we're the number of our days, <laughs> and I'm looking at that. Teach us, because as a flower in the field, the wind passes over and our days are gone. So we're not to go to bed with trepidation and what we were talking about, apprehension, anxiety, because the Lord is our light. He's our night light. You remember those old school night lights we used to have when we were children? He's our night light. He protects us. He sees us. So we have nothing to fear. He's the strength of our life, nothing to be afraid of. Let's trust him and let's mind the goals and the stop signs. Have a good one.